man, say man, it's your boy Money Man Roman. We here today on the bench. We got a Predator 224 broken open. Got another one in the box back there. Gas tanks everywhere. Got a Predator in there. Predator 224 side cover. So today, swapping out that stock piston and stock rod out of the 224. And we're about to put this flat top piston I got. Got a flat top piston. And we got a billy rod down in this thing too. So got the billy rod, ARC rod. So about to install this thing, 6271 and 3.323. Cause we got the flat top piston, I think it's 550 height. So with the 550 height piston, you want to get a rod that's just that's just 20 thousandths longer. If you get the 570, you want to get one that's 40 thousandths longer. So I'm about to start mocking this up. I know I got to trim up there in the top. I know I got to hit back up here. Then I'll probably got to hit back there and then clear on the crank journal itself. And most likely in between my cam right here. This cam is just a 265 cam I had sitting around. That's why it looks kind of rusty a little bit. I made sure to put oil on it when I put it up, but you know. But so got that. I'm gonna put this piston in another 22. I mean, in another Predator I got right here. It needs a piston. I gotta close that hole up too. But it needs a piston, and then we're gonna go from there. So I'll be back to you guys when I mock up the rod. All right, boom. So we got that billet rod installed. Got the bearings on. Got them. Got the rod bolts bolted down to 170 inch pounds, not foot pounds, inch pounds. So for you people, I've been seeing people in forums saying they breaking uh, rod bolts when they're turning them down. I've, I've never seen. I've never seen that, but it's because they probably thinking it's foot pounds. And it's actually inch pounds because even 25 in, even 25 foot pounds comes out to 300 inch pounds. So you want to make sure you are you are actually going off with the right spec. Remember, it's 60 inch pounds starting off on each one, and then 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, up until you get to 170 or 160, somewhere around there. And just want to make sure it's nice and tight, everything good. Got a little overspray from the little dust when I was grinding it down. Had to grind down the rod just a little bit on the top right here. Had to grind this spline down. And then I also had to grind down the middle of our cam. Grind that thing down. I think it still might be hidden right there. But, um, you know, we're going to put it in. It spins perfectly. But I'm going to let y'all see in here. So just give me a few seconds. I'll put that side cover on and I'll spin it over for you. Also, I don't know if I pointed this out. But I don't know if you guys can see that in the back of this 224 block. It says Ducari. So I was trying to see if, if if it was a clone of a Tillerson block or of a 223 Wildcat, but this is actually a Ducar block. You guys can see it, it says Ducar clearly in the back and the Ducar castings, everything is similar to a Ducar motor. So this is really a Ducar bottom end, which is the same thing as a GX200, but it's perfect. Like this is like all your parts and bolts up. I got a whole everything full of everything over here. Parts galore, my boy. Parts up there, my boy. So I can build about four, five of these. Like this is nothing. But I, I just, I just have wanted to point that out. Let me put this side cover on. Of course, I'm gonna change this gasket, but I just, I'm just doing this for mock up real quick. Show y'all how smooth this thing is. Watch this. Hold up. You don't hear no clunking, nothing. Look, look at that thing spinning in the back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No clunking, nothing hitting. Yeah, we lit.
performance Predator 224. I put the regular Predator 212 side cover on it because these are known for exploding left and right. So I got two of these brand new. I got one in there and I got one down there. Those are known for blowing up. I got another 212 that's sitting here. This is the 212 that got the 292 cam in it. This thing is some pressure. But the 224, we got something good coming up in the next few weeks. So right now, I can't ride it. It's supposed to be a Thanksgiving ride going on today, but can't ride it. But we got the motor basically all the way tuned out and broke in. So um, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see here, this is my torque converter plate. It blew out the bearing in the back there and I had some issues trying to get another bearing. I don't know what's going on with that. It's trash. So um, yeah, that's going. So yeah, but the motor is good. I can turn it on right now. I got to turn it on anyways because we got it running on E, uh, like an E85 with a 93 mix. We're running like E50, but still, like the motor turns right on, no problem. Like, but. First pull every time, all the time. Money man build them, you know. We get that thing done in this thing, but yeah, she good. So also. It's on a clutch right now, a clutch is a piece of shit. Don't mind all this oil. I had a little incident. I don't know if y'all can see these little, you know, things right there. So I, I want y'all to be vigilant on the 224. Mine had a few problems where this bolt, um, it had thread inserts, which are called helicoils that came right out. Like literally the helicoils came right out. Um, I might have to retap this one right here too. Uh, on the side of the side cover because that one's kind of been spinning out and i might have to retap this top one right here uh, i already had to redo this one i let that one seat and set yesterday my drill had died on me so i didn't get a chance to go do the other ones but um yeah this is a little cheap clutch that the bike came with i don't trust the clutch at all the clutch uh has made the bike smoke well like the clutch can't handle what the bike has so it's smoking as i'm trying to like drive that clutch it's a stock it's a stock clutch but um yeah so i got a new torque converter coming this week um my juggernaut is down here i'm actually having shit. i'm actually having a problem with my juggernaut i'm gonna use the that that uh roller right there won't stay on the spring so I gotta take it apart and I gotta deal with that too. So I gotta deal with that roller problem. But other than that, everything else is pristine. And it's, you know, very good build. I love the 224 motors. Basically everything of the GX200 crank is a 58 millimeter crank. So y'all stay tuned because I got another crank over here that's a 58 millimeter too from another 224. So we wanna make some things happen. But hey, I get, I'll get back to y'all later, man. Y'all have a good Thanksgiving. I'll see y'all, boys. Boom.